So this year has been all about putting 3D printing into all sorts of new workflows. So if you look around here at CES, just about every product that's around us has been prototyped or produced using a 3D printer in some way, but there are all sorts of processes that aren't yet open to 3D printing. So we've introduced a bunch of new materials, some new improvements to our software, some new recommendations for processes that let 3D printing get used in all sorts of unexpected new places. For instance, we have a digital denture material. So this is a 3D printed denture. A dentist scans your mouth, designs a denture in software, and then 3D prints this from two different materials, a gum material and a tooth material, and they can be assembled. So this is something that until very recently was kind of an artisanal process. You'd go to your dentist, get an impression taken in kind of a, you know, a gummy uh, material, then they send it out to a lab. They do a lot of casting with old school materials, a lot of polishing, sanding, assembly. Winds up costing about 50 bucks to make a denture that way, and it's not as accurate as it could be. So with this new digital denture process, you can make a denture like this for about 10 bucks. It's way more accurate, much easier on the patient, faster, more digital, more consistent. Uh, it's just a, a big improvement. This other material that we have is elastic material. So flexible 3D printing material has been very difficult to get right. We've had one flexible material for a long time that's great to simulate kind of, uh, you know, moldable grips and things like that. You can kind of push on it a little bit. This is very elastic. You can compress this a lot. You can elongate it. Um, it's ideal for, for 3D printing all sorts of products and all sorts of shapes that you couldn't have 3D printed before. Well, here we're making uh, digital models by starting with a face scanner and then going through uh, the work of a digital artist to create a zombie. The joke is that at CES, we all become zombies after a day or two of walking around. So our partner here is going to actually make you into a zombie by scanning your face, adding some artistry, and then 3D printing it.